Hey, Kids Church. I miss you guys. I'm so excited that we can talk to each other like this. All right, since we are having church from home, I am wearing my comfiest comfy clothes. And I wonder what you guys are wearing. Are you wearing a suit? Or maybe a fancy party dress? Or uh, your fuzzy footy PJs? I would love to see what you're wearing. Maybe you guys could post a picture below the video so we can see each other. All right, I'm making a snack for my kids. Can you hear it? Do you guys like this snack? All right, I'm gonna get it and show it to you. Ooh, it's still popping. All right, we're making some popcorn. Oh, still popping. All right, have you guys ever made popcorn like this in a bag or maybe on your stove top or have you ever looked inside of a popcorn bag from the store and made popcorn like this? Because let me tell you the crazy thing about popcorn. All right, look at this little jar of kernels. Does this look like enough food for my whole big family? First of all, these would taste terrible. Second of all, I don't think this would even fill up Caleb's little tummy, much less my entire big family. But what happens when we heat up these kernels? When I put these in the microwave or put them on the stove, they make this much popcorn from this little bitty jar of kernels. Does this look like enough for my family? I think it is. Maybe not. My family eats a lot, but I think this will be enough for my entire family. So the amazing thing about popcorn is these little kernels have moisture inside of them. They have water inside of them. And when power in the form of heat gets with these kernels, all of that water gets really, really, really hot and it starts to steam and build pressure bigger and bigger and bigger until pop, it explodes and you get a popcorn kernel from this into a big popcorn that you can eat. All right, today we are gonna read a quick story about food and how Jesus made something small into something big. I'm gonna read it from my storybook Bible, which you may have at home at your house, and I'll try to make sure you guys can see the pictures. This is called Filled Full. There were once 5,000 tired, can you see it? Tired and hungry and probably very grumpy people sitting on a hillside wanting their dinner. They'd come to hear Jesus that day. They came before breakfast, stayed all morning, all afternoon, and way past dinner. No one had meant to be out there that long, but that's how it was, listening to Jesus, as if time didn't exist. People could listen to Jesus for hours, and on this particular day, that's just what they did. But they hadn't brought enough food, and they couldn't go and buy themselves a burger and fries to go because, of course, they were in the middle of nowhere with no shops or restaurants. Besides, that kind of food was not invented yet. What would they do? Jesus' friends had an idea. Let's send everyone home for their dinner. Can you see the picture? There's Jesus teaching to all the people. And I bet they were really hungry. They've been listening to him talk a long time. They don't need to go, Jesus said. You can give them something to eat. Did Jesus want them to travel all the way to town and buy food for everyone? Jesus' friends panicked. But we don't have enough money. What food do you have, Jesus asked. Go and see. Now there was a little boy in the crowd. He had brought a lunch that his mother had made for him that morning. He looked at his five loaves and two fish. It wasn't much. Not nearly enough for 5,000, but it was all he had. I have some, he said. Jesus' friends laughed when they saw his little lunch. That's not nearly enough, they said, but they were wrong. Jesus knew it didn't matter how much the little boy had. God would make it enough, more than enough. Jesus said, bring me what you have. And so the little boy gave Jesus his lunch. Jesus winked at the little boy and whispered in his ear. Watch, see the picture. How in the world will Jesus feed everyone with just that, Jesus' friends said, because they thought it was impossible. But Jesus knew the one who made all the fish in the oceans. And Jesus knew the one who in the very beginning had made everything out of nothing at all. How hard would something like this be for someone like that? Jesus took the little boy's lunch, looked up to heaven and thanked his father. 
Then Jesus gave the little lunch back to his friends. As Jesus' friends started to hand out the food, do you know what? It was the strangest thing. No matter how much they broke off, there was always more and more and more. Enough for 5,000. Everyone ate as much as they wanted. Second helpings, third helpings, even fourths until they were full and still there were leftovers. Do you see everyone with their full bellies and their big lunches? Well, Jesus did many miracles like this. Things people thought couldn't happen that weren't natural, but it was the most natural thing in all the world. It's what God had been doing from the beginning, of course, taking the nothing and making it everything, taking the emptiness and filling it up, taking the darkness and making it light. Let me tell you what I love about this story. The little boy offered what he had, which was just his little lunch, and Jesus took his little lunch and he multiplied it to make it something big that could help lots of people. And the thing that is so cool about this is we all have stuff that we can offer to Jesus. You may have something you can offer with your hands, like money, food, clothes, toys, that you can give to share with other people. You may also have things that you can offer that you can't hold in your hands, things that you can do. So this might be singing. Maybe you like to sing. Um, maybe you like to play basketball or write stories or bake cookies. These are all things that you can do. And when you offer that to Jesus, he can take that and he can multiply it to bless other people and to share his love. Do you hear my kids? <laughs> That's what he does with his power. Just like power in the form of heat can turn a kernel into a popcorn, Jesus's power in the form of love can take whatever we have to offer and use it to bless other people. I'll give you one example. I'm gonna post with the video this worksheet that you guys can work on at home. So on this one side, you'll see the one basket of food that the little boy offered and the 12 baskets of food that were left over after it fed all of the people. So down here, you can draw a picture of something that you have to offer. And on this side, you can show how Jesus' power and Jesus' love can use that to bless other people. So my daughter Anna did an example for you guys when we talked about this as a family. She said that something she loves to do is to draw and to write. And one way that she uses that to bless other people is to make cards or to write letters for people. It's something she absolutely loves to do. And I told her, that is a great thing right now. While a lot of us are having to be careful and stay home, she can write cards and send them to people in the mail or leave them on their porch to encourage them. We have lots of friends that live by themselves and they might be lonely. And that's a really great way that she can take something small that she has to offer. And Jesus can use that in a really big way to bless other people. So think about that. Think about what you have to offer. As a family, um, I'll also post this family page. There are some great questions in here that my family talked about at dinner the other night um, and some great things you can do together as a family to bless other people or just to be reminded that God is with us and that he uses us to, to honor him and to, to share his love. All right, guys, I'm going to pray for us real quick, and then I want to hear from you all. You can post pictures of what you had to draw or ways, things that you guys are doing as a family so that we can um, see each other and celebrate with each other. Let's pray real quick. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you love us, that you are with us, and that with your love and with your power, you can take whatever we have to offer and you can use that to bless other people and to share your love with our neighbors. God, be with us. Help us to remember you always. We pray this in your son's name. Amen. All right, guys, I love you. I miss you. I hope to see pictures and videos from you soon and talk to you very soon. Bye, you guys.